Hello everyone, we would like to present you today the service cape design as well as the element that make the first building of our school appealing. We will start by breaking down our journey in this building in the way it's meant to be visited. We will try to emphasize on how our senses are being stimulated during the process of the visit inside the building and finally adapt the Marabian Russell stimulus response model apply to the layout of the building to investigate every touch point we will encounter with the building and therefore the school. Let's dive deeper in the presentation and start with a simple tour of the building. It may seem useless, but as the business school strives and needs to show off, the layout and the visit of the building have been studied to give the best impression to anyone that wants to venture the corridors of the school. At first, we are greeted by the outdoor front entrance signposted by a panel soberly written Ren School of Business. But the first colors that will interfere with this visit come right after this panel. Indeed, the floor is painted with signalization arrows to help the wanderers through this maze of a school that counts in four main buildings. Following the dark blue arrow, we arrive at the gates of the school with automatic doors painted by welcoming sentences from a few different languages. Inside, we feel the direct and intense warmth of the school. We feel welcome as we start exploring the different alleys of the school. But before inspecting further, we need to pass the last automatic gates that are awaiting to let us in. When done, the first objects that catch our attention on the main alley are the gigantic palm trees resting along the way. We feel extremely tempted to look up and appreciate the verticality of the building and the three floors waiting for us patiently. Seeking for pleasure in aerosol, we decide to enter the student lounge as we feel tempted to play foosball or pool. These games are suited for bonding with other students or friends. As we have fun enjoying the time spent in the lounge, we feel even better in the building. But in the end, we are here for an important purpose and not only just to drown in the leisure activities proposed by the building. So we decided to head straight to the cafeteria for more leisure and appeal. This cafeteria is wide open and filled with warm orange tones of colors that lure students into gathering and working on different projects for hours and hours. We can scent the different food available on the stall of the cafeteria and we feel also tempted to buy something out of pure gluttony as students work right by it. But enough of a rosal and leisure time, the next step of the visit will be boring, empty and hopefully with no color at all so we can continue our tour faster on the building. We decide to go downstairs, in a corridor with white walls, ready to be disappointed by this specific touch point of the school. Yet we found ourselves in the gym. The room itself is colored, filled with various sports items and equipment that attract our look. We also feel tempted to grab sports ball, lifts and play along for fun but again, it is not the goal of our stay in here. Nevertheless, we felt obliged by our sense of touch to spend a bit of time in here. Disgusted by the fact that we had fun and felt aroused in this part of the school too, we felt determined to wander even more in the building and find a way to get bored and finally leave this place. Right next to the student lounge, we found a corridor dressed up with different logos and rooms with a RSB association panel that guided us through. The student associations of the school are all located in the same wing of the building, on two different floors. After heading upstairs and crossing the arc before the associations, we feel like we've reached the heart of the school. Inside these rooms, plenty of students gather to help the school live with extra scholar activities or other exciting projects. We feel like each association is an artery of the school 
and walking through this corridor brings a whole new dimension to the building we visit. On the second and third floor, we arrive in this Pac-Man-like maze with many turns and longer lays, along which we can find classrooms and administration's offices. Basically the quintessence of boredom for a typical student. On top of that, when we found ourselves in the big auditorium of the school where all the insane events are being held, we realized that everything in the building has been thought and created to keep us in school with a lot of leisure activities because the upper floor is scary and boring. Before or after this upper floor madness, we feel tempted to rest or gather to work on some projects on the astonishing furniture put in place by the school to get that wow effect and it works. Thank you.